Hey everybody, I have a winter evening routine video for you today, even though it's already officially spring. But since my Dutch YouTube channel has priority, I couldn't find the time last month to upload this one. I have to say that I usually don't enjoy recording these because almost the entire video is recorded in the dark. So to spice it up a bit, I filmed several evenings last week during various activities. My evenings certainly don't look the same 7 days a week. On Monday evenings I have jumping lesson with Nacho. On Tuesday I have ice skating lessons. On Wednesday I often had ski lessons these months. And Thursday to Sunday vary from just doing nothing and watch series, meeting up with friends to working. And I have to say, it's usually the last one when I'm home alone. When Shurt is there we usually chill and watch Netflix. But because I work for myself and can manage my own time, I prefer to spend the day outside during the winter doing something with the horses or filming and work in the evenings. So during the day I try to do more things outside the house. So in the morning on Saturday I went to the gym, then spent the entire afternoon at the club's show jumping competition as a course aide. And then on to Nacho since his stable is on the route for a quick ride. Normally I am a morning slash daytime rider, but I prefer with a stabled horse to go in the evening because he already goes to the pasture, paddock or walker during the day, then I am there in the evening to take him out of his stable again and give him exercise. On Sunday I slept in, did the stable duties during the day and went on a ride outside with Marley. It was wonderfully old and familiar, but it still took some time getting used to him again. I feel like I'm too big for him when I get on because I'm now used to Nacho who is 17 hands high and Marley is only 14.2 hands high. After riding I put Marley back, checked if they still have food for the next few hours and then go inside. I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I couldn't break to pieces and be left alone once more. If you hadn't been so patient you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my bullshit till you didn't anymore. And now I stand here calling at your door. It is now around half past four, so not yet time to eat, but of course I'm hungry. So I take a look in the refrigerator to see what it has to offer. 
which isn't that much at the moment because I'm just eating the leftovers. Then I sit behind the laptop to start working. That could be editing a video, answering emails, checking orders from the webshop, writing scripts like I'm doing here to prevent me from forgetting half of it and it's becoming an absolutely incoherent story, working on the new courses and well, just name it. It really depends on what I have to do and what time I will be done. Sometimes I will work for two hours and then start cooking and then continue afterwards. Sometimes I work until 11 p.m. and then decide whether I still feel like cooking or just make something simple. In terms of dinner, we have had HelloFresh for I think five years now. So today I'm making this dish and if I can, I try to eat it for two people at once so that I can get a lot of calories. And if that doesn't work because well, it's for two people and not for one. Then I would just put it in a container in the refrigerator so I can eat it for lunch or again for dinner the next day. Somewhere between 9 and 12, which was at 11 p.m. today, I will visit the horses to do a final check. I knew when I went to muck out this afternoon that they didn't have enough hay left for the night, but it started raining right then and it would be dry in the evenings, so I only filled the hay net inside. Nowadays I have one of those headlamps, so it works great for hanging up the hay nets or if I still want or need to muck out in the evenings. Once back home, I will start the evening routine before going to bed. Cats leave the house, everything is locked and half an hour ago I made sure that my electric blanket in bed turns on via an app that you can turn on. Best invention ever because if you are a cold person like me, there is really nothing better than when you are cold and get under your blanket and then lie down in a kind of oven. First of course the evening regime in the bathroom, so take off my makeup, take care of my face with skincare products, which I have been doing for 5 years now and I'm still a fan, brush my teeth, go to the toilet so I don't have to at night and go upstairs. When I arrive upstairs it is very cold there this time of year, because we do not have the heating on, Shurt likes a cold bedroom. I less so, but it seems to have health benefits to sleep in a cold room with the window open. So upstairs I often put my bedrobe over my clothes so that I can prepare my clothes for the next day. This really saves me a lot of time in the morning. Then I put on my pajamas and crawl into my preheated oven. There was a time when I immediately put my phone on the other side of the bedroom so that I didn't start scrolling in bed. But when I'm home alone. I also enjoy being warm in bed for a while, so I check all the apps, watch a YouTube video, talk to Short for a while and then set the alarm for the next day. If it's not too late, I will read another chapter in a book on my e-reader. Hope you enjoyed seeing this evening routine, I did my best to make it a little longer and I'm also very curious about your evening routines. What do your evenings look like spread out over the week? Let me know and I will see you again next time. Bye bye!